Uh, hello everyone. Uh, good evening to all of you. How are you doing? How's your preparation? So we are in the fifth week, right? And one of the important topic right now is is theories, anthropological theories, right? Anthropological theories you need to cover. See, uh, I promised all of you that I will cover this series. I will cover uh, the maximum thing which I will cover. I promise that and I will fulfill my promise. And uh, say never, I didn't see how many students are doing this. But those people who are in the dire need of this, Definitely, they'll be helpful and they'll get some help out of this because today we'll discuss the paper in 2022, paper we will discuss tomorrow, paper 2 will discuss day after tomorrow, right now today uh, we'll discuss um, the theories, uh, I will tell you again the importance of discussing, see most of the lectures I'll be uploading it, I think uh, recorded lectures only uh, because that is about uh, like that is good also you can like watch it on 2x speed or something uh, that is better for you uh, and uh, theories me one important thing is there are a lot of like small small topics you need to cover which i cannot say in recorded videos because it will take a lot of time for me okay so directly i am going uh, going forward with this I will explain you की theories का जो है कौन से topics cover करने हैं right so we'll directly go theories okay see first of all have you seen that structure I gave you the structure individual thinker आएगा तो आपका कैसा approach रहेगा and if a particular theory is asked what should be your approach right I gave you one structure I hope you are following that structure Right. So I just briefly explain it. Whenever they ask you a theory, whether it is functionalism, whether it is structuralism, whether it is um, Julian Stewart, uh, so Julian Stewart is a particular thinker, whether it is culture personality, this time they asked culture personality, right? Simple question, very simple question. So whenever they ask you a particular theory, you write the introduction, you write what does that theory tell you? So just the crux of theory, if it is a culture personality theory, you just explain what do you mean by culture personality? Okay, what does culture personality represents? Okay, so you write what does culture personality is in the introduction, then you write the basic premises, culture personality, okay, a culture is there, if you, like, if you follow a particular culture or if you belong to a particular culture, then you have a particular personality. Right? Then you write about basic personality, modal personality, right? Then you write that personality develop kaise hoti hai. Then you write the individual thinker. If it is a 20 marker, then you go on explaining the individual thinkers. Okay. Go on explaining the individual thinkers. Then you write the significance of their theory. Write the significance. What is the use of that theory in the present context? What is contemporary relevance of that theory? Write the significance of that theory and write the criticisms. Right, whatever the theory is, uske kya criticism kiye hai, uske against kisi na kisi ne kuch bola ho. So, what are the criticisms against that theory? Uh, by the way, uh, you know, can you can you find that you know the first lecture many people were present, but after that very few people, because see this is the difference between you and rest of them. Many people, how much sure they are talented. The one thing which is very difficult for them is to maintain consistency. We, this is the fifth week. Not everybody is up to date with their syllabus. Not everybody is able to finish the syllabus which I am suggesting they should do it. You know, we procrastinate. Kya hoga? Agli week mein cover karenge. Agli din cover karenge. We will do it later. But mind it. Those people who are very, very diligent, those people who are very, very dedicated, those people who are working day in and day out, 
definitely these people will get success okay so this is one of the example which i consistently see that first lecture whenever i take there are so many people whatever it is for so many people so much of enthusiasm the later after that you know the frequency just go on declining theek hai so and then write criticism and then write conclude the theory right conclude the theory okay then individual thinker for any individual thinker for any individual thinker let's say abhi jaise is time kya question pucha tha unhone right let me see the question i think they ask individual thinker what question on theory they asked so that will set us some tone for us for today's lecture okay so uh, mesolithic gracky brown then mm. balance and transgenetic genetic imprinting field work discuss the approaches of leslie white julian stewart and marshall salins in the light of cultural evolution right they ask individual thinkers only they ask individual thinkers who leslie white leslie white now leslie white is a thinker right leslie white ka kya role hai so he talked about universal evolution he talked about universal evolution he talked about culture cultural evolution with the help of energy and technology energy and technology uske hisab se kaise evolution hota hai right leslie white julian stewart julian stewart talked about multilinear evolution julian stewart talked about multilinear evolution julian stewart talked about culture ecology he talked about culture ecology then marshall salins so salin again talked about universal evolution unilinear uh, he talked about i think universal only so what is the salins approach okay so try to cover each and every thinker so today what we will do is we will discuss jo bhi hai hamare topics jitne bhi discussion ke topics hai the major among them is i have to tell you uh, what all to cover and from where you can cover that best um, the better source for this uh, is write down e patshala e patshala you just search e patshala there you can find video also video also so you know i think jnu ya baki universities delhi universities ya other universities ke teachers have taught there ओके, सो आपको वहां पे वीडियो भी मिलेंगे वहां पे आपको कंटेंट भी मिलेगा वहां पे आपको कंटेंट भी मिलेगा एंड वीडियोस आल्सो यू विल फाइंड देयर, ठीक है सो ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट सो क्लासिकल इवोल्यूशन क्लासिकल इवोल्यूशन द क्लासिकल इवोल्यूशन इज so how the they, they talk about psychic unity of mankind you know this idea was given by tyler the tyler morgan and fraser tyler morgan and fraser fraser contribution is more in terms of religion magic and science which we will cover in the fifth topic in the next week fifth topic in the next week which we will cover fraser tyler tyler also gave the definition of culture so he said psychic unity of mankind so from the time of ancient culture to the present you know this is unilinear evolution ek hi direction mein evolution kaise hua hai tyler is trying to explain but according to tyler the current like he he explained in 1871 he explained in 1871 okay according to tyler the most evolved society is victorian society at that time queen victoria was there no 
so victorian society is the most evolved society and he the most backward society he compared with the primitives okay so study about tyler you refer for this uh, vivek basme sir ke handwritten notes of theories which i will forward to you which i will forward to you vivek basme sir uh, sir ke handwritten notes then contribution of morgan the contribution of morgan lh morgan lh morgan is uh, an american anthropologist american anthropologist okay they they have asked one question frequently morgans i will i will uh, tell you i will forward these notes ye aapko vivek basme sir ke notes mein bhi cover kiya hua milega morgans explanation you write this question morgans how did morgan explain the evolution of marriage evolution of marriage family and political organization and political organization you write this question see when you i am like making you write many question today okay i will make you write many question today and you need to answer these questions okay make sure that you know all these tyler morgan fraser tyler morgan fraser all these are armchair anthropologist armchair anthropologist why because they did not go they did not go in the field to study or collect the data to study or collect the data they were more reliant they were more reliant on the data was collected by somebody else they were sitting and they were just analyzing the things that's why they are called armchair anthropologist right okay the second is diffusionism diffusionism again you should refer to vivek basme sir's handwritten notes bahut acha cover kiya hai usme theek hai diffusionism so diffusionism what is their basic idea that culture has evolved at some place because of the some suitable conditions because of some suitable condition culture evolved at some place and wahan se cultural diffusion ho gaya so this evolved at one center and wahan se wo diffusion ho gaya somebody accepted so if one thing evolved at let's say ki matlab koi technology us mein evolve ho gayi hame acha laga to humne le liya right so cultural diffusionism theek hai so wahan pe british school british school is heliocentric school also heliocentric school because or egypt centric british school believed in that culture evolved in egypt culture evolved in the egypt they were of the opinion that there were favorable suitable conditions in the britain uh, in the egypt and because of that culture evolved in the egypt and after that this culture got diffused to the different places of the world then there is a german german school so german school may one concept you need to cover culture circles culture circle you cover this concept in german school then there is american school of radcliffe brown and clark wisler american school try to cover the concept such as culture area culture area question what do you mean by culture area culture center age area okay cover these concepts age area culture area culture center okay cover these concepts then there will be they will they can ask you a question compare evolutionism with diffusionism evolutionism classical evolutionism with diffusionism
ओके क्लासिकल इवोल्यूशन और इसमें क्या फर्क है ठीक है उसके बाद है हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म हिस्टोरिकल पर्टिकुलरिज्म स्कूल वाज स्टार्टेड बाय फ्रांस बोआस फ्रांस बोआस अगेन अमेरिकन एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट अमेरिकन एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट सो फ्रांस बोआस यू नो व्हाट ही डिड ही डिड ऑल ऑफ आवर रिसर्च बहुत ज्यादा रिसर्च कर लिया यहां पे गया वहां पे गया डाटा रिसर्च किया कि यू नो व्हाट व्हाट वाज दे फाइंडिंग आउट यू नो थ्योरीज क्यों है थ्योरीज का बेसिक फंडा यही है कि द प्रेजेंट कल्चर जो भी फॉर्मेट में है वाई इज इट लाइक दिस वाई इज इट लाइक दिस आज का जो कल्चर ऐसे है सो वाई डू वी हैव कंप्यूटर्स नाउ नॉट बिफोर वाई डू हैव टेक्नोलॉजी नाउ वाई डू हैव दीज थिंग्स इन अटन मैनर राइट नाउ सो ऑल ऑफ दीज क्यूरियस पीपल दे आर ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट लाइक द साइंटिस्ट बट दे वर ऑफ मोर ऑन द कल्चर पार्ट वाई द प्रेजेंट कल्चर इज लाइक दिस right in the second topic 2.1 we have studied right culture versus civilization civilization is the materialistic aspect of culture materialistic aspect of culture right historical particularism this question is mostly asked for 10 marks and 10 marks me you cannot skip that question so make sure that you have better prepared i have already given forwarded you few notes have you seen those notes on the telegram channel i have already forwarded you few notes okay then functionalism functionalism by malinowski functionalism by malinowski that is biological functionalism biological functionalism Malinowski focused on individual. Malinowski focused on individual. Malinowski was thinking about if an indi- if an individual has a need, and then there is a culture to satisfy that need. Culture is there to satisfy individual needs. Okay. So for functionalism. अगेन यू रेफर टू विवेक बसमे सर के नोट्स में बहुत अच्छे तरीके से एक्सप्लेन किया है आई विल फॉरवर्ड यू दोज नोट्स सो यू ट्राई टू यू नो फंक्शनलिज्म सिर्फ फंक्शनलिज्म पे दस मार्क का क्वेश्चन आता है फंक्शनलिज्म दे आस्क यू आर टेन मार्कर क्वेश्चन सो यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन लाइक फंक्शनलिज्म जहां पे वट एवर वट इज द फंक्शनलिज्म वट आर द बेसिक प्रिमाइस देन वट इज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मैलिन उसकी देन वट इज द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ if they are asking you functionalism that means you are supposed to write only about malinowski okay then there is structural functionalism structural functionalism by radley brown radley brown this is little bit tricky to understand structural functionalism you know he gives more importance to society he gives more importance to society and not any individual he gives more importance to society and not any individual structural functionalism according to him there is a particular structure exist to fulfill the functions there is a particular structure exist to fulfill the function okay so he gave an analogy of an animal he gave an analogy of an animal इसमें आप ट्राई देखिए जितना पढ़ेंगे उतना कम है स्ट्रक्चरल फंक्शनलिज्म में कवर करिए व्हाट आर हिज बेसिक प्रोमाइस व्हाट एक्सैक्टली ही वाज ट्राइंग टू से व्हेन ही स्टडी ऑन अंदमानीज आइलैंडर्स ओके सो कवर दीज थिंग्स ओनली टेन मार्कर मे बी आज फॉर फिफ्टीन मार्कर ठीक है देन देर इज स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चरलिज्म structuralism by levi strauss and edmund lee somebody was asking what is the relation between malinowski and emile durkheim very few but emile durkheim was a teacher of radley brown 
Emile Durkheim was a teacher of teacher, like mentor, whatever you can say. Okay, Emile Durkheim is a sociologist. He is a sociologist. Radcliffe Brown is an anthropologist. Emile Durkheim taught Radcliffe Brown. Radcliffe Brown taught M. N. Srinivas. Okay. Yeah, difference should be written in two tables, of course. Whatever you um, we are comfortable. Structuralism, okay. Then the structuralism by Levi Strauss. Structuralism by Levi Strauss. Whatever is explained in anthropology simplified. I think up Utnai Kariya Use Jada Karang is a Pagalo Jangis me. Structuralism is very, very difficult to understand. I could only understand the binary opposition. Binary opposition, I could understand. But you know, it's very, very difficult to understand. I will try to make one video on structuralism. Okay. I'll try to make, I have to read it. I have to read not only once. Okay. I have to read it at least three times, four times for structuralism. Okay. This is the only theory which I always used to avoid. This is the only theory which I always used to avoid while reading. Structuralism. Okay. So I'll try to I'll try to come up with one video about structuralism. Okay. But the contribution of Edmund Leach is not that difficult. Edmund Leach studied this um, Myanmar. He studied Myanmar. Which Myanmar I forgot. I forgot. The tribe he studied, Edmund Leach. His contribution is simple, not that difficult. Okay. Then uh, culture, um, Kachin, Kachin, I think, Kachin area. Okay. K A C H I N. Then culture personality school, culture personality school, Kachin area of Burma, Kachin tribe or Kachin area of Burma, Edmund Leach, right? Then culture personality school. So in that Ruth Benedict, Ruth Benedict. Ruth Benedict. Ruth Benedict, what you need to cover? Write down. Question. What is the culture pattern? Culture pattern. Culture pattern. There can be a 10 marker question on this. Culture pattern pay 10 marker notes. But culture pattern pay not only Ruth Benedict, also Ralph Linton has also worked. Ralph Linton has also worked related to culture pattern. So what, what did she do? Ruth Benedict, she studied, she studied so difference like what is this? The difference of right, like good and bad behavior kind of thing. So for a particular culture, there is a particular pattern of behavior. Okay. So Ruth Benedict for you. Second is Mead, Margaret Mead. Margaret Mead. So Margaret Mead, her contribution uh, for culture personality, you must refer E. Partshala. E. Partshala. For culture personality. Refer to E. Partshala. Okay. Margaret Mead, her study, sec Sex and temperament in three societies. Sex and temperament in three societies. I think Arapesh, Mundugumor, and Chamuli. Arapesh, Mundugumor, and Chamuli. Then uh, coming of age in Samoa, where she compared Samoan society with the American society. Coming of age in Samoa. Okay. Two, three of her studies. So you mentioned that in your answer. Okay. Then Ralph Linton, Ralph Linton. So Ralph Linton talked about overt culture and covert culture. Overt culture, covert culture. Whatever is given in E. Patshala, 
एंड एंथ्रोपोलॉजी सिंप्लीफाइड में भी इसका अच्छा आंसर दिया है दैट इज इनफ ओके देन अब्राहम कार्डिनल अब्राहम कार्डिनल कार्डिनल गेव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बेसिक पर्सनैलिटी बेसिक पर्सनैलिटी सो हाउ डज बेसिक पर्सनैलिटी गेट फॉर्म वेन एवर देर आर पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड रियरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस आर देयर पर्टिकुलर चाइल्ड रियरिंग प्रैक्टिसेस आर देयर and according to those child rearing practices you develop a particular personality called as basic personality refer to e paatshala e paatshala mein acche se diya hai you refer to that e paatshala mein acche se diya hai theek hai then cora du bois cora du bois she studied allor tribe a l o r Allor tribe of New Zealand. Allor and Maori, I think. Allor is of New Zealand or Indonesia? I I am confused. Okay, she studied Allor tribe. She gave the concept of model personality. Model personality. Model personality. मॉडल पर्सनालिटी ठीक है सो कवर ऑल दिस थिंग्स न्यू यूल्यूशनिज्म न्यू यूल्यूशनिज्म सो विक्टर गॉर्डन चाइल्ड विक्टर गॉर्डन चाइल्ड कवर थ्रू एंथ्रो जो विवेक बस में सर के हैंड रिटर्न नोट से विक्टर गॉर्डन चाइल्ड दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क इन ट्वेंटी एटीन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ गार्डन चाइल्ड 2018 में इसका क्वेश्चन पूछा गया था सो ही ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ कल्चर थ्रू आर्कियोलॉजी थ्रू आर्कियोलॉजी ही स्टडीड फाइव डिफरेंट एरियाज ही स्टडीड फाइव डिफरेंट एरियाज एंड ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द कल्चर सो व्हाट इज द अगेन दे विल आस्क यू द डिफरेंस बिटवीन यूनिलीनियर इवोल्यूशन एंड निवोल इवोल्यूशन देन लेस्ली वाइट लेस्ली वाइट He was explaining you, Leslie White. He tried to explain the evolution of culture through energy and technology. Energy and technology. Leslie White का भी आप cover कर सकते हैं इससे. एक बस में सर के notes से अच्छा लिखा है उन्होंने. You can cover through that. Then Julian Stewart. Julian Stewart. Julian Stewart Stewart you need to cover question write down question write a short note on culture ecology write a short note on culture ecology write a short note on culture ecology second question second question how did how did julian stewart explained multilinear evolution how did julian stewart explained multilinear evolution multilinear evolution with the help of culture ecology with the help of culture ecology Okay, cover this. Again, you will get the help. मैं थोड़ा बहुत अगर try करूँगा कुछ forward करने का, but you will get through बस में सर hand written notes. मैं आपको भेज दूँगा ये, ठीक है? Then Salins, Marshall Salins and Service का contribution बहुत काम है. You will get very minimum content related to this marshal salins and service but this question was asked this year okay then culture materialism i think i have forwarded you that that is enough culture materialism by marvin harris by marvin harris i think his book name is the rise of anthropological theories the rise of anthropological theories his case studies are important
his case studies are important theek hai most make sure that you cover his case studies okay one case study is by radzel so there are very interesting case studies what does culture materialism tell you culture materialism tells us that a sacred cow complex is one case study that particular thing in the culture exist particular thing in the culture exist because it has some material significance because it has some material significance and because of that particular culture particular theory particular thought process in the culture exist he gave the example of feminism he gave the example of feminism feminism is there because women going to work provides additional resources additional income to the household so there is material benefit of that his thought not my thought i am telling you his thought he explained again the sacred cow complex theek hai you read his case studies ठीक है देन सिंबॉलिक एंड इंटरप्रिटेटिव थियरीज सिंबॉलिक एंड इंटरप्रिटेटिव थियरीज विक्टर टर्नर विक्टर टर्नर यू अगेन कवर दिस थ्रू ई पाठशाला सिंबॉलिक एंड इंटरप्रिटेटिव थियरी सिंबॉलिक एंड इंटरप्रिटेटिव थियरी ठीक है विक्टर टर्नर so victor turner he studied dembu society n d e m b u dembu society n is silent n n d e m b u of africa dembu society of africa so write down 10 marker question can be asked on write a short note on social drama write a short note on social drama write a short note on social drama write a short note on liminality which was asked in 2021 write a short note on liminality liminality you will get this write a short note on rites of passage or rites they passage rites of passage write a short note on rites of passage rights of passage theek hai write down a question what do you mean what what do you mean by symbol and symbolism what do you mean by symbol and symbolism symbol and symbolism theek hai try to answer these questions so social drama and liminality go hand in hand so social drama kaise hai how did he explain in this dembu society then this liminality then how does he explain symbolic thing you will get to know okay then turner schneider schneider jitna bhi ho sakta hai like i don't like there is no much content about schneider but cover they can ask you then gilds Clifford Giddes. Clifford Giddes did his study in Java, Bali, Nis, Bali, Indonesia. He studied his study in Bali, Java, Java Island, Bali Island, Indonesia. Okay. So write down the question. Write a short note on. write a short note on balinese cock fight write a short note on balinese cock fight this question was asked in 2016 write a short note on balinese cock fight so you know balinese cock fight he his theory is interpretation if something is hap- happening if someone is doing something what we can interpret from it what we can interpret from it See, basically, you know, this cockfight, you know, 
बाली में जो कॉक फाइट होते हैं मतलब जो मुर्गे वहां पे लड़े जाते हैं ठीक है वहां पे द बेटिंग विच इज डन इज नॉट लॉजिकल इफ दैट पर्टिकुलर मुर्गा बिलोंग्स टू माई विलेज देन वेदर दैट कॉक इज स्ट्रॉगर और नॉट I will bet on that cock only. Okay, because there is village unity. Okay, so village ki unity hai. Then only people who have lot of money or people who have social uh, status only they can do the bet. Women and the people belonging to lower strata they cannot bet. They are doing something else. So lot of things can be interpreted from that. Okay. So Balinese cock fight is one. Second, thick description, thick description, T H I C K, thick description. So for any incident, any event, he tried to explain it in very detailed manner. He tried to explain it in a very detailed manner. बहुत अच्छे तरीके से explain किया. So that is thick description. thick description that is thick description theek hai thick description then the next theory is next theory is cognitive cognitive theory by tyler and conklin stephen tyler stephen tyler and harold conklin cognitive theory cognitive theory again cognitive theory you should cover from e patshala e part chala very very good content so for cognitic theory you should also cover this sapir hurf hypothesis sapir hurf hypothesis because from that this cognitive theory came okay sapir hurf hypothesis so harold conklin so basically cognitive theory things how our brain identifies with a particular culture and how individuals in different culture think differently or how individuals in different culture give importance to a particular thing differently i'll give you example give you give you an example so harold conklin harold conklin he studied hanuno color categories hanuno is a tribe in east asia hanuno hanuno color category so when harold was giving example so we determine the color green red yellow and something and we determine this color but the hanuno people they have their different method of distinguishing the colors okay so you go through that hanuno color category then the other one is stephen tyler stephen tyler stephen tyler okay so you go through e part shala वहां पे बहुत सारा है यू जस्ट ट्राई टू रीड इट थोड़ा सा डिफिकल्ट जाएगा कॉग्निटिव थ्योरी इज अगेन लिटिल बिट डिफिकल्ट बट आई हैव मेड वन वीडियो यू कैन रेफर टू दैट कॉग्निटिव एंथ्रोपोलॉजी पे आई हैव मेड वन वीडियो यू कैन रेफर टू दैट देन द लास्ट थ्योरी इज पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म सो पोस्ट मॉडर्निज्म बेसिकली इज व्हाटएवर यू से दे विल से इट रॉन्ग दे विल से इट इज रॉन्ग दे विल से यू हैव अज्यूम्ड इट दे आर अगेंस्ट साइंस काइंड ऑफ थिंग ओके पोस्ट मॉडर्निस्ट 
post modernism you should cover through brain tree post modernism you should cover through brain tree post modernism you should cover through brain tree theek hai okay so theories ke liye you know try to cover i have given you 8 days so next uh, tuesday tak you need to cover your theories by the next tuesday you need to cover your theories then after that there will be two topic fifth topic and eighth topic religion and uh, this so tuesday se do teen din mein wo karenge do teen din mein religion karenge do teen din mein and do teen din mein that uh, other topic field work and research and by that we will finish our we will finish our socio cultural anthropology okay we will finish our socio cultural anthropology in the next week so that will be week 6 so this this has been a journey of you know patch week khatam ho gaye if you are consistent enough definitely it will be helpful to you i need not just give you motivation lecture all the time because this is what i'll be talking more about content and that's what you need to refer to okay okay all the best to you and good night take care